Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 42 of chapter 4 from Hitt's book. Define three clockwise mass currents for the circuit 4.69 and employ mass analysis to obtain a value for each. Okay, let's draw uh, three clockwise mass currents. So maybe this one here will be I1. And then this one here will be I2. And this one here will be I3. Clockwise, right? Okay, now let's do KVL at I1. KVL at I1. What can we do from here? Yeah, KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And let's start from this voltage source. I will have minus 2 and then plus 2i1 and then plus 9i1 and plus this is 1 volt. So I will have 1 because the current flowing from positive to negative and then plus this one here that will be 3i1 and all of that will equal to 0. Now let's do some math here. Minus 2 and 1 becomes minus 1. But we move it to the right hand side. So that becomes 1. And for this one, I will have 2 plus 9. That will be 11. And 11 plus 3 will be 14. I'll have 14 I1 is equal to 1. Or I1 is 1 over 14 ampere or maybe we should calculate the numerical value of this so i'll have one divided by 14 and that will be 0 0.071 or 71.4 milliampere okay 71.4 milliampere that's for i1 Okay, now let's move on to I2. Let's do KVL at I2. KVL at I2. Okay, now we have this. Current is flowing from negative side to positive side. So I will have negative sign here, minus, and then 1, and then plus 10 multiplied by I2. But here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I have I3 here. And this one will be minus 5. So I have minus 5. And that will equal to 0. Now I will get 10 I2 minus 10 I3. And that will equal to 6. Okay, now what is I3? I3 is the current that flowing with the opposite direction to this current source. So that will be 10 I2 minus 10. And then that will be minus this value here. That will be 0 0.5 multiplied by Vx. And all of that will equal to 6. And now 10 I2 plus 10 multiplied by 0 0.5 that will be 5 so i'll have vx here is equal to 6 and what is vx vx is just i1 multiplied by 9 so i'll have 10 i2 plus 5 multiplied by 9 multiplied by i1 that will equal to 6. And I1 is 1 over 14. So I will have 10 I2 plus 45 multiplied by I1. That is 1 over 14. That will equal to 6. And so I will get 10 I2 will be 6 minus 45 over 14. Okay, 
I think this is the job of calculator, right? So I'll have I2 here. Let's divide both sides by 10. So I'll have 6 over 10 minus 45 over 140. And I will get I2. What is I2? 6 over 10. And then minus 45 over 100. 40. and I will get 0 0.278 or that will be 279 milli ampere this is for I2 and I3 we already calculate here I3 is just minus 3 Vx I mean I3 is just minus 0 0.5 Vx and that 0 and Vx is 9i1 so I will have minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 9 multiplied by i1 but i1 is 1 over 14 and this is the job of calculator let's plug that into calculator so I will have minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 9 and then multiplied by 1 over 14 and that will be minus 321 minus 321 and the unit will be milliampere and let's highlight this so all the current values will be this one for i1 this current here and this current here i2 is this one and i3 here is this one so this is the answer that are asked by the problem hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye